let me show you a workflow where we can automatic confirm or quotation. For example, let me show you my postman and I go to do, for example, four order. One, two, and also here. One, two. If I go back to my Odoo and refresh the page, I can, uh, I need to remove the filter and you can see here my four order from Postman. The status is uh, sales order. Then that means the delivered is already done. And this is uh, really helpful uh, if you want to keep your stock uh, always update. But also keep open the door if uh, some people uh, in your team need to do the quotation manually. For example, let me create here a empty uh, quotation. And if I go back, you can see how the status is different, is uh, quotation. Let me add some item for keep more clear the example lamp. And uh, I press uh, one quantity and you can see how the quotation is, uh, is pending to do, okay? Then how we do this? Let me show you, uh, for do this, I install for um, uh, extension uh, in the Odoo apps. The first is uh, Odoo Recipe. Here is the technical name if you can find. You can copy and paste here in the search and you find directly. And this is for uh, use with Postman. And after I install this for merge sell order and also keep the merge sell order line. Yeah, you can read here uh, in, and in this way the invoices and sell order um, is no too long. Let me show you here how we can merge also the auto merge invoice lines and finally this one, uh, this is the most important for keep automatic the workflow here. Uh, you can see in the picture, you can uh, set up uh, the auto cell workflow. And here in the default workflow, you can set up exactly what step you want to uh, make automatically. Like, uh, for example, only the, um, the, the delivery or only the invoice, etc. If you go... Uh, here you can see how uh, this is you can see the option and also uh, you can um, select a template for a specific customer um, anyway uh, after install all of this let me show you my postman again and um, I uh, write a partner with the AD10 let me show you in Odoo I go to my uh, partner Deco, this is the demo data in, in Odoo when I uh, install for do a testing. And here in the URL, you can see the AD of this uh, customer. Uh, is the number 10. The same <coughs> with the user AD. Uh, this is my sales person. If I go to my uh, setting user, you can see I create one with the name of Magento because it's, uh, I have some website with Magento, but you can do the same with workshop with uh, PrestaShop or HTML form or whatever you want for, for your examples. And uh, also the workflow AD is from this extension. Okay. This is the extension you need. If not, it's not working. And if I go to my quotation, and I uh, click on one, you can see here the, the file is work AD. Uh -huh. Let me show you here how I config this and the deliberate order is checked. Okay, I go back and that's the reason because I uh, select the workflow AD. This is the, the first option, I mean, uh, this one, the first option in my template. Um, in this case, uh, you can uh, use uh, other option. 
for example, if you want to use the opportunity, you can uh, write the opportunity ID here. Uh, opportunity ID, and you write some something, and you can uh, you know this can be very useful if you want after do a filter with different uh, payment method or whatever. Okay, we keep simple the example, and finally. When we go to uh, quotation, all of this is not working if we don't create a action here uh, in the setting uh, technical. You can find the option of uh, automated action, and here I create a automatic confirm quotation. In my case, my end of person, but you can put the, the action name whenever you want. And the model is this model. Let me show you completely the cell order. Also, you activate, you create a tiger on creation. And also here, look at that. Let me refresh. OK, we have this number. Let me show you the configuration because for me it's a little bit confused. Um, when I create a edit domain, and here you need the you need add the record, and if the record don't match with uh, your quotation, this auto confirm will not work. This is the reason because when here I create myself a quotation, uh, the workflow is not working. But if I create with my Magento salesperson automatically. Is working. Let me show you uh, in detail um, when I create a, a salesperson Magento. Uh, I don't know why uh, I need right here a string, uh, but when you are using Postman here, you need to write the uh, number, which is the number of this uh, sales user, salesperson. Here you can find in the user that you create before. This is my intro, and this is the uh, AD. AD6 here. Okay, AD6. Then uh, finally, you here can add your uh, product AD, okay, and the quantity that you want this come. And after, you can see here how you get the uh, 200 uh, okay mm -hmm. let me show you an example here um, we have this record if I press in my postman for example two time with my uh, salesperson Magento one two and I come here and refresh you can see how will increase because they find uh, my last two order and my sales order. Let me refresh, remove the quotation. You can see how are already with the status confirmed. If I modify just for trying this uh, string, and I write for example two. Safe. You can see how is they cannot find nothing. And if I send two time, for example, to order in Magento, they cannot find. Uh, let me remove and save. And they can find two more. Finally, the most important is the action in Python. And here in the Python code, you need to write this. Let me increase. Record action confirm. If not, it's not working. OK, let me show you. Um, now, uh, one the last detail about the, the stock, because for me it's so important to keep the update stock. And 
uh, when all of this uh, you can save when all of this is uh, already configured according with your needs um, let me show you uh, here uh, in my uh, in my product okay office lamp my stock is let me refresh the page is uh, 78 if I do for example a one two three four five with another customer one two three okay and I update this will be 70 as you can see it's working and now because here in my order let me refresh you can see all of them uh, refresh I'm sorry let me click the filter only okay and you can see here all of this with the status cell order but if I do my postman without the user ID salesperson you can see for example I press uh, one time the order is coming with the status quotation okay because this is is not the salesperson okay it's a public user then the the auto confirm don't match okay and also let me show you how the product if i refresh don't update because the status of the quotation is not confirmed then looks like everything is uh, working